Okay. So the first question that I have, uh, and Scott, thank you for putting the uh, the role on the R as a white man. I'm sure that's appreciated, though one could consider that appropriation. Uh, I'm sure it made many of our fans extremely moist in their pants. I have a question, though. We know you as Nelson. We grew up knowing you as Melissa Nelson. And now you are Ramirez, which is, I mean, far more yeah, exotic. Same. But how, how did we get to that? What happened? So, I got married. Congratulations. And my <laughs> ex-husband is Hispanic. Um, mm. And so <laughs> when we went through the divorce process, I, from a, a male perspective, well, I guess I should say from a straight male perspective, you wouldn't really, you wouldn't know, but changing your name, I literally would rather do anything else. I would rather stab myself in the eye multiple times with the spoon than go through the name change process mm -hmm. because with social security, you have to go there in person. Like you can't. Yeah. They're open three hours a week too. So yeah. Right. <laughs> so you can't do it online or anything like that. So if you need to change your name for social security purposes, you actually have to go to the social security office. So when we went through the whole divorce process, um, I just was like, not doing it. Um, and also my ex-husband really hated the fact that I kept his last name, even though we were getting divorced. <laughs> so it was really honestly just a petty AF thing for me to be like, you know what, just to irritate you, I'm going to keep it. So it sounds um, like the feature was that you got under his skin. The benefit just happened to be that you didn't have to have that big investment of time to switch it back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, and actually, to be honest, it makes it a lot easier when you have kids, right? Because obviously my, my sons have that last name. So from a school perspective, even doctor, medical, sure. it's just easier when it matches. Um, and now, I mean... I somewhat regret it now because when, when we filed the divorce paperwork, I could have said in that point that I was going to go back to Nelson. Um, and I didn't because I still would have had to go to the social security office and change it back and do all the BS. So I, I just left it. It was just really an added bonus that he was irritated. <laughs> I kept his last name. I didn't realize it was um, so hard I, to get your name changed. Mm -hmm. O M. Gee. I think I think when Scott when they talk about the privilege, I think this is what they're talking about. Yeah, we don't, we don't have to, to change uh, our names. I went to go get a new social security card, and it has you have the same trouble whether you're changing your name or not. But changing your name adds uh, everything else everywhere in your life that you have to change that too. So why'd you get a new social yeah. security card? Like a new oh, number or my, just a replacement no, card? No replacement. Yeah, I always panic. I haven't had to look for a job in like seven years, but anytime someone says, you know, as a proof of identification, we need your social security card. My mind immediately goes to where the fuck is that? I mean, I have a safe that I think it's in there, but I haven't really right. I haven't verified that in probably four or five years. They asked for the kids. I'm like, we do live in a, in a digital world, right? I mean, I can get yeah. on a plane with my phone. I can like fucking pay for my Uber with a phone. But apparently, apparently, have, apparently, to prove identity, I need a printed piece of paper with a fucking nine-digit number on it. That that is the uh, the bar for security. Still, but we look to our wives for everything, honey. Do we have social security cards for the kids somewhere? Mm. <laughs> Dude, how, uh, Melissa, did your uh, any of your former exes or your favorite exes would they ask you questions like, "Do you know where this thing is at?" Do women just become kind of the social secretary or finder of things around the home? What are we um, talking um, about today? What is the purpose new, of this thing? The new moms, right? For dads. The new moms. Yeah, moms. I will say, as a general demographic, moms are ridiculously underrated. 